हरि ओम हरि ओम वी हैव फ्यू क्वेश्चन ओवर हेयर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज थ्री वर्ड्स कर्म विकर्म एंड अकर्म भगवान कृष्ण हैज यूज दीज थ्री वर्ड्स इन गीता एंड ही हैज suggested that everybody needs to appreciate these three words very very nicely karma is a great blessing for every human being we alone can do karma but what exactly is meant by karma it is not that physically we have been acting right from the morning to night doing something or the other or our jobs our works our industry our agriculture or farming or working everything enjoying relating what exactly is karma these things are also being done by animals but we don't say that animals they do karma so the word karma implies that whenever we respond to a situation very consciously deliberate deliberately so what is karma that karma is that response to a situation wherein we have all the choices available to us we are not compelled to act there is no compulsion in any real karma whenever we do karma we are free to act in all kind of possible ways a person who has that kind of freedom alone does karma i can act in an old way i can act in a new way i can also you know uh, take up that option of not responding at all also without any kind of burden in me it is not that somehow i am holding myself but really speaking i am completely free that there is no compulsion that i have to respond i can remain quiet i can also act in an entirely new way a non traditional way a person who does karma has got all these various options and the person has intelligently decided to take up an option it is not suppressing other options and suppressing other option is indicating that i am compelled to act in one particular way given my freedom i prefer to act in that way no compulsion whatsoever it's an intelligent response it's a response out of my wisdom my freedom that this is as per me the right way to act i could as well have acted in the same you know free way in other ways but i see that you know that has got its short form comings maybe there are some problems in that i don't see that to be a very intelligent proposition and therefore i do not act whenever we do karma we have the freedom to keep aside our likes and dislikes i like and i do not like these are the impediments in our freedom of karma whenever a person has got this kind of limitation that they are compelled you know, to dislike certain things and there after the response is there that is called a conditioned response it's not a karma it is vikarma it is a helpless response so that kind of response whenever is there there is no intelligence working i have lost my freedom of response i am conditioned to res- respond in a particular way that is not a very intelligent response so we need to appreciate that to be really a vikarma a negative response 
a response which is going to you know uh, condition me further and further which will not solve the problem which will in fact let the problem continue and there is another kind of a thing while in karma there may be certain personal interest that i think that you know having done this thing eh, there will be uh, some you know benefit of results for myself i'll maybe purify my mind i'll bring about betterment for everyone a person you know who keeps aside all kind of personal interests and thereafter acts intelligently there is no personal agenda whatsoever yet i can act in a very nice enthusiastic way intelligent way so when a person is acting in this that way that person really speaking has got no burden whatsoever that is nishkam karma a loving karma i'm just enjoying something doing something and that is the fragrance of my heart the fragrance of my fulfillment is exuding through the heart i am fully available in that karma heart and soul yet i don't have to reach anywhere i know some result will be there but that's not my agenda whatsoever this kind of loving selfless action which is devoid of reaching any word of reaching anywhere so that kind of karma is really speaking a karma even while doing karma i'm really speaking not having any burden whatsoever of doing any karma a person who discovers a karma selfless karma loving karma egoless karma selfless karma nishkam karma that person you know even while acting they do not have any burden of acting but the beauty is that they are available heart and soul in that fully available it's not that you know mechanically something is happening that kind of karma is the aim of all karma yogis and that status called as a karma that is what you know even god says that when i come and do karma even having done everything i'm not even doing anything i've got no personal agenda whatsoever i've got no personal interest in that so once you divorce all personal interest and can just act something with your full love creativity intelligence you are awake to that situation and you are responding that is as good as a karma so a karma is also an action it's a deliberate action is a loving action is an involved action it's not a mechanical response all the mechanical response that kind of a thing is really speaking uh, not karma at all it is vikarma so karma is deliberate action hmm? vikarma is mechanical action but both these things have their self interest the motivation of self interest is there in a karma there is no motivation of self interest so there are so many people who are acting so lovingly nicely enthusiastically like the action of god in the creation in the sustenance and the dissolution of the world he is acting with a karma this a karma is the most compatible state of karma the most mature state of karma which facilitates our spiritual upliftment a person who can learn to act you know in this way even while doing the person is not doing so there are no anxieties no burdens and the results are anyway very good because the karma is beautiful 
but they are not bound by any the results of action no karma phala bandhan because it is not a karma from that point of view a calculated selfish action even though that was deliberate in karma a person has self interest here there is absence of self interest whenever there is karma there is a result a person who does karma will always get result because that is what the intention is so there is always sankalpa therefore in all pujas yagnas we do sankalpa and thereafter do the karma so every kind of karma has some agenda personal interest and thereafter one is devoted fully very nicely fair enough good there are certain things i have to attain go ahead and do that karma is a privilege but once you know we realize that you know just uh, fulfillment of ego my self interest is not really taking me anywhere it is always keeping me a limited guy limited person and thereafter i drop this aspect of acting with my self interest thereafter in spite of all the activities outside deep down it is a karma so these three words are very important we need to discover a karma karma and vikarma vikarma is something to be avoided karma is where we start and a karma is where we lead we ultimately discover a karma which is really speaking the most beautiful way of acting so this was the first question